Okay, so I took some time to think because I my initial plan was not really working out the way I wanted to and I'm going to have to push things around and stuff. So I so what I'm going to what I did is actually went online because I, I got to thinking I need a flip-flop a T flip-flop is what they call it. So what it does is it flips back and forth between on and off. So it flip flops back and forth on and off. So I need that so when I push the button it stays open, push the button it goes closed. My pistons weren't quite working so I did a little research and found a nice efficient one from a YouTuber named Riley B. Byrne. I will put the link to his channel and the link to the video in the description below so you can go check it out yourself. It's, he does a very quick, efficient two minute tutorial on it and that's perfect for what I needed. So, I, so I'm using that design. I wanna give him credit for where I found it. So what I did is it's a flip-flop using droppers. So you have, the power this dropper and it does a cycle and it turns the comparator off and on which was fine, but you can't stack them side by side because the same thing I have with the pistons, they power each other. So I used my original piston idea over here to do the same thing. I can put that, because that piston is actually on this block and not on this block, so it doesn't power any of those. So when I click this, it opens that door, click it, it shuts the door off. You can see it better over here click it that door's open when you click it and that door's closed I could have put another one of these over underneath that door I decide I'm just gonna use the lever opens it closes it so now I have my compact three button system or two buttons and a lever but the lever does exactly what the button does open close open close so now I can actually shrink this back down to the way it belongs. Put this here, I can get my four wide corridor, three wide corridor over there. And then um, get this out of the way. So it'll go there. So now let's say I wanted to piss, I want to power that door over there. So it's gonna be right here. So I would have another switch there. And then I will do my piston coming out of there with that. I can do the same. This here, there. So it takes this. So this would be the door I want to power. So let's put that there and that there. So that will power the door. That will unpower the door. I didn't hear the door open and close though. So. Oh, it didn't open and close because there is no door there. So that will power the door and unpower the door. Let's try this again, make sure it works. So, yep, opens the door and then closes the door. And then this is going to send the power through here into there. Like that. So that'll open the door and close the door. So, that does that one. That one. Oh no, I'm going, I'm having deja vu. Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay. That'll, that, that'll be fine. I can, I can work around. I can work around this one. Because I don't need it right there. I can move it over one because I only need four. I only need four in a row. I don't need 
five or six. So I can actually move over this way. And so let's say that can be door number, that door. And then I can do another one there and this could be that door. So we'll shut that off. Actually, I can put, take that out of here. That there and that there. So I can put a piston here and a piston here. And this one will power. This one will power that one. And then I will need. So then here in the middle on this one. Um, I would take can be here. I'm gonna drop her like that. Yep, and a dropper like that. And then we're gonna take La Hapa like that. Yeah, hopper there. Oh, this one here is going to there. Yep, I think that'll work. Oops. Let me try this real quick. Make sure that still works. Yep, that works. So from here. We're going to have energy go out this way. So the comparator here will power. Oh no, it's down one. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why I was digging into the dirt or the stone. Boy, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was. I thought this was going to go semi quickly. Okay, this makes more sense because then I don't have any interference. So we have this here. Let's get rid of this until I'm ready for it. That goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. So we get rid of this and put a solid block there. That way it'll transfer energy underneath it to that block. So this block here will go into there. I'm going to need to move this over one. No, that'll, no, that'll be fine. I will get it eventually. Don't worry. I will get it eventually this out that's gonna go there this will go there so I'll shut that off yep which means my Peter goes there like that but that is gonna interfere with this so we're going to need oh yeah I know what we're gonna do hold on we are going to go there, like that. Let's see. I think that I think that'll work. Oh no! Oh. How come that's not working? I'll have to figure Oh, there it is. Okay. There. Oh. I'll figure that out. But you, you get the gist. That's this is gonna this will be fine. I just have to monkey around with my signal here for a bit. Ugly, but does the job. 
and then here this is where yeah I'm gonna have a signal coming off into this door over in this corner like that and then this signal will go there like that I told you I'd get it done eventually okay so that one does that one this one oh no this one has to do that one and this one has to do this one okay well I've got that all messed up but I think I've monkeyed around with this enough let me finish all of this get all this ready and then we will be done I just need to yeah just I think yeah I just got to put beds in here and then we'll be completely done So I've got all my switches in and they all work. So you, you close all the doors or you can open all the doors. I have noticed that with the piston it gets it sometimes gets this stuck so it has to be reset. So you gotta click it twice. But other than that, I think we're uh, we are good. I mean, I'm not gonna worry about that. It's tricky enough getting all this uh, working. I've had enough redstone. That's all the redstone I'm doing for a while. So there. So just to finish off the cells, I'm going to put in water for the toilet and sink and a bed. And this is it. And that's all you get. If you want better luxuries, uh, don't commit the crime or at least avoid jail if you're going to get caught you're going to get stuck in a cell like that I think I've got 12 different cells which is actually more than I thought I thought I was only going to have like four or five so not too bad you see all the cells are the same same little compartment where you're going to have to spend your time and I think they would be escape proof once you're in here because there's no windows or anything. I figured why give them windows they're just going to escape. Um, I don't think they can get down the sewer so no Shawshank Redemption here you're not going to be crawling through the sewer to get the heck out of here that and then we just have oh this one's opposite oh well oh I counted correctly this is a little dark but I don't think nothing will spawn in there well, that takes care of this um, oh I need to still put the glass in here and then decorate or not decorate but furnish the guard shack and then we should be uh, should be done with this build so let the tinted glass in up top could have removed it but I decided to leave leave at least leave some of it and it still gives glass it's that dark I think that's just maybe the shaders I'm using I'm not really using shaders this may be my the way the graphics renders things because it, it just does not show the light I guess it's a good example it doesn't let light through but that's probably by design I think it's a little dark actually. Oh, I missed one. Oh well. I'll have this nice clear glass through here. Oops, I one, two, three. And five short. Okay. Well I'll come back and get those five. So this is the guard shack. Nice wide open so you can see everything. I'm gonna put a uh, no coffee maker, because you do need coffee when you're in here. Got that. I've got a chair. I'm going to put like a chair here and maybe a chair like here. They're not going to want to stand. I mean, they're 
on guard duty for a while, so they're not going to want to stand here and just, they're going to want to be able to sit here and chat and watch TV or do what they want. Speaking of what they want, I'm putting, what did that work? Computer desk there? Well, that seems to work. Oh, cool. And then a computer desk here. Oh, I got an extra. We got a couple computers here for them. I'm not going to touch them, I think. I'm not sure why they work, but it works. Because so, I would think they're occupying the same space as item frames, but luckily they let you get away with that. Because otherwise I'd be kind of out of luck. And I think that's all I need for here. There doesn't have to be much in the guard shack. Just really a coffee maker. They've got some books and they got their computers. And the rest of the time you're just supposed to sit here and guard people. So I can get through and close all these. Oops. What is that? Oh, I've got a broken one. Oh, well, dang it. I guess after all this work on here, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. These are straightforward. Well, that's good there. That is disappointing. Quite disappointing. Huh. Oh, I hate redstone sometimes. That's it. I'm done with this. I am not coming back in here. I'm gonna like there, seal off the door and we're done. There. Not going back in there. I so oh, I'm tired of that. Tired of that redstone. I'm running away. I'm running away. Oh, I got to I got to put the last piece of glass in there. But after I get that last piece of glass in there, I am running away. I'm gonna stay away from that. I am done with that. We are completely finished with that. And I don't need any glass there, so I can't run away. So, that is it for today. That is it for the jail. That is it for me doing redstone for a while. So I want to thank you all for putting up with that. I hope it was not as painful for you as it was for me to try and get through this redstone build. But if it was, you feel free to be safe to come back and watch the next episode because there will be zero, and I say zero, redstone involved in that one. Because I am going to probably dig a tunnel from this side of the city, from the jail, straight through, and set up a little jail outpost on the opposite shore of the city over there. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I will uh, I will catch you later. Bye-bye.